Hi there, it's Farmer Brad, and today's video is going to be one of a somber note. This took place back in April of 2019, and didn't quite know what was going to go on, but um, heading out of town for two nights, and we didn't have a dog sitter scheduled yet. I ended up getting our dog, Gidget, situated up in the barn loft with food and water and everything was supposed to be fine. Well, I did not anticipate the UPS delivery guy coming. Our dog does not like the UPS delivery guy. The UPS delivery guy is super nice but our dog just does not like him. So what ended up happening when disaster struck is Gidget ended up pushing on the barn loft door and fell a story down to the ground. And this ended up happening on the second day that we were away. And when we got home, I saw that Gidget was not putting any pressure on one of her front paws. And at that moment, my heart sank and I knew it was not good. <sighs> that night, I bandaged her up, took some paint stir sticks and made a splint for her. Early the next morning, went to the vet. Now this vet was pretty close and this was the one that I had taken Marshall, our livestock guardian to, dog to. And when I got there, it was like $65 and all they did was they gave Gidget, it was just an injection for the pain and they said that I needed to take Gidget to Indianapolis for roughly probably a $5,000 surgery or in their recommendation, Gidget should be put down. And what was running through my head was this is the dog that my wife brought into the marriage. This is the dog that my wife has known longer than she's known me. And to have to put this dog down uh, was not gonna be good. So we called around, we called around. This one place, they said that we'd have to pay $350 for an x-ray before they'd even be able to tell us what other options we'd have. We ended up coming across this one vet that really works with you, really understands that you know, common people have a limited amount of budget that they can spend on their animals. We took Gidget to this vet and taking Gidget to the vet so she can get better. amputation was on the table. So Gidget was in as good of hopes as she could be. I did just find out that they'll probably go all the way up to the shoulder because there was some fracturing above the elbow. But uh, fingers crossed, hopefully they'll be able to save down to the elbow um, so that then I can 3D print something so that she can uh, go around. But um, Hopefully she does well. I got word today that Gidget made it through the surgery, which is great. 
and unfortunately they couldn't save this part they had to go up to here so that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting with trying to 3d print a prosthetic I'm thinking of one with uh, two front wheels and then possibly somehow make it so that um, she can have room to move her left leg to support um, and then while she was out they noticed that a couple of her teeth were loose so they ended up pulling those out I'm headed to get her I'm trying to prepare myself for what she's gonna look like um, they said that they had to shave her for the oper for the amputation operation I'm just happy that she's alive and that she'll be able to have many, many more years of uh, getting a lot of loving from our girls and yeah, it's just a very unfortunate accident that her arm broke. It's hard to recognize, but it's our Gigi Poodle. And she's been through a lot today. You give him Gigi some loving. Aww. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Gidget still has many more years to live uh, being a happy dog and stuff and I have a 3D printer and I was all prepared to 3D print uh, an extra leg attachment for Gidget um, so the entire surgery cost about $350 which I felt was very reasonable and they did an excellent job and we got Gidget back and she really clung on to me because I think partly because I was the one that dropped her off at the vet and picked her up from the vet that did the surgery and so we got her home and she was still kind of in shock from the surgery and stuff um, but her wound started healing and then I kid you not she started walking and basically other than visually you see that she only has three legs she doesn't let that get in her way she's able to persevere and be the incredible Gidget that we know her to be 
thanks for watching. Yeah, this was a tough video to make, but I wanted to capture the raw feelings in the moment of uncertainty. And I'm glad that on the other side of things, things turned out okay. And that we did not have to put Gidget down. And that Gidget is able to live with our family and be loved by our family. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the like button. If you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button. So thanks for watching and I hope you are inspired by this video uh, to never give up and to continue on. Take care.